guys. I just wanted to take a quick minute to share with you one of the ways that I really save a ton of time during my week, and that is by doing all of my grocery shopping online. I like to use Instacart and shop Sprouts Farmer's Market, but there are tons of other options like Prime Now, all that good stuff. Um, so I did want to take you guys through what I ordered and why I ordered it. I'm usually pretty good about being able to order one time and really get everything that I need for the week, but pretty much use it up by the time the week is done. So lemons, I almost always get a bunch of them because I'm always adding lemon to my water. It's really the only way that I will actually drink enough water throughout the day. Uh, I get honey because that is what I sweeten my coffee with, believe it or not. It's actually really, really good if you haven't tried it. Extra virgin olive oil is what I use in pretty much all of my cooking. Uh, I do use coconut oil every once in a while, but olive oil is kind of my main go-to. Uh, flaxseed meal and the different, you'll see frozen berries on here, and then frozen spinach. That is all for my morning shakes. The yellow onion and the ginger root are both for a recipe that I'm going to be making this week. It's going to be this fish recipe. I already have the salmon, so you won't see that on here. But it's going to be a fish recipe where I put it with a uh, mushroom and roasted red pepper sauce that's looking like it's going to be really good. So I'm excited to share that with you guys probably later on this week. The beets, again, go back to my morning shakes. The mushrooms and the red peppers will go with that recipe I just talked about. I love lar bars, especially these cashew cookie ones, because they are literally, I think, two ingredients. If I'm remembering correctly, I believe it's just cashews and dates. So it's super clean, super easy, just quick on the go when I'm in between clients. That's something that I will definitely rely on. Same thing with bananas. You'll notice I actually, I eat a ton of fruit for snacking purposes, just because I can just toss it in my bag and go. There is, I'm noticing quite a bit of fear about the sugar in fruit. I will be writing a blog post about that soon, because I promise you nobody's getting fat because they're eating too many apples. <laughs> I really do promise. So we'll go over some of that at a later date. So you're seeing all these red mangoes and melon and all these things I snack on. Um, celery. I get celery a lot because I always start my morning off with celery juice. So I will juice about a half a stock of celery every morning and drink that about 15 minutes before I put anything else in my system. It helps with leaky gut syndrome and with uh, any other sort of, well, not any other, but it helps with your digestion quite a bit because it basically helps your body to create the um, stomach acid that helps you break down your food better. I very regularly get cucumbers because I love making my lemon cucumber slaw as a side dish. I love making um, kale chips myself. I just put them in the oven at like 250 for around 10 minutes and then kind of move them around, toss them around, and then put them back in for a few minutes until they're nice and crunchy. Uh, the spaghetti squash is for the recipe that I mentioned earlier. The baby arugula and the red leaf lettuce are both for salads because I really I rely on salads quite a bit for my lunch. I usually will add maybe some smoked salmon or some roasted chickpeas, some nuts, some seeds. Um, that's always kind of a quick go-to for me for lunch. The potatoes and black beans are another kind of combo that I, I rely on pretty regularly. I'll saute up the gold potato after I've shredded it with a cheese grater, uh, turn it into almost kind of hash browns, and then sprinkle it with salt, pepper, onion, salt, and some fresh garlic, and then I saute that with the black beans. And it's a really good um, kind of hearty meal. It's super, super fast. It's really tasty, and it gives me a good amount of fiber and carbs, so it, it helps fuel me for my workouts. Love avocados, love making myself some guacamole. I could eat that by the spoonful, so good. Uh, coconut water, I love just kind of sipping on throughout my week, whether it's just a hot day or it's after a workout. It's just a super refreshing way to get my electrolytes in. And then they were out of stock on this one, but I do love the Bulletproof Protein Bars. This one happens to be the chocolate chip cookie dough, but they have a ton of really good flavors like chocolate fudge brownie. They have a shortbread cookie one that's really good. They have a mint chocolate chip one that's really good. It feels like you're getting a dessert, but it's really clean collagen protein. Um, and it has coconut oil in there, really tasty, really high protein, uh, pretty low sugar. I think they use stevia to sweeten it, but um, yeah. That is my grocery list for this week, and that's that's a pretty regular week for me. Like I said, I already do have the fish, so normally you would see a little bit more protein in here, like fish and chicken, but I already have those in the freezer, so I'm all set there. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little kind of glimpse into, into my life and the way that I do my grocery shopping, and hopefully it'll save you some time. You know, you go to the grocery store, and it takes 
20 minutes to drive there and then you're walking through the store and maybe you get you know distracted by an aisle that you wouldn't even realize when you're online then you have to wait in line to pay for your stuff you know it can add up really really quickly so you know if you're saving an hour or two by not going to the grocery store maybe that's an hour or two that you could spend working out or spend planning or being productive and working towards your goals or just spending time with your loved ones I mean I don't know about you I'd much rather spend time with my loved ones than go to the grocery store so let me know um, if this was helpful to you. I would love to hear from you, and maybe you guys want to share with me your grocery list. All right, I will talk to you all soon. Have a good one.